In this video, you will learn how to make SQL queries that are being performed visible in the console. This will help you during the debugging time. Additionally, to see the SQL queries, you can also see the values that are being inserted into SQL queries. So to enable a logging of my SQL queries, I'll go to my project and then a source main resources. I'll need to open application properties file. And here I will add three new properties and I'll walk you through. So the very first line here will enable SQL queries and you will be able to see them in the console when you run your project or unit tests with this line only. The second line will make the values that are being used in those prepared statements visible. So when we use the positional parameter or a named parameter and we pass that named parameter a value, you'll be able to see that value in the console. And the third line is optional. Uh, it will make those SQL queries that are being printed in the console nicely formatted and it's much more user friendly and easier to read those SQL queries. So let's save this application properties and now I will go to user repository test method and I will run one of my test methods, for example, test find user by last name. I will run this test method only. And to do that, I will double click on it so that its name is selected. I'll hold control button on my keyboard, click, and then run as unit test. This will run this unit test only, and I should be able to see the SQL queries that are being performed. Okay, so my unit test has passed. Now I'll switch to console here and I will scroll all the way up so that I can see SQL queries. And here we go. Here's an SQL query that has been performed uh, to create table addresses and to create table password reset tokens, to create table users. You can see the structure, you can see the field names, how are they being named. And if I scroll down all the way here, I will see an SQL uh, query that has been used to insert users, for example. Here's the prepared statement, insert into users, into the following fields, following um, values. And the values will be printed here. So if I look up here, it says binding parameter one. So the value of test at test.com will be inserted at parameter one as a data type var char and parameter var is email address here. So this test at test.com will be inserted as email. Email verification status is parameter two. It's parameter two, a Boolean value and a true will be inserted um, to email verification status. And uh, the last one will be select all from users. This is from our test method. And uh, if we look at the binding parameter here, it says it will insert the value of Kargapolov at parameter one as varchar. Our parameter one is last name. Okay, so it's now very useful to have them here. I usually turn uh, this debugging uh, off when I do not need them so that there is less noise in my console, but it's very helpful uh, to have it on when you work with query methods or native SQL queries.